like Hiran Desai. As part of the technology uh, uh, educational series, we're going to talk about fiber channel and what does a fiber channel mean and some of the common terms which are used in a fiber channel. Um, earlier, uh, Salim had already uh, presented uh, some of the common terms uh, which are used in fiber channel. I'll briefly go over that because it will help us in kind of putting the whole uh, fiber channel technology uh, together. As you can see here, we have a simple topology uh, of which, which are some of the common components that uh, you might have heard. Here we have a switch or, or a fiber channel switch. Um, so we have a switch one here and a switch two here. Uh, we have a, a, a host or an initiator. Host or initiator is nothing but a server. So I'll put a host here. And another term you might have heard is, is target. Typically, the, uh, uh, in, a, in a storage or a fiber channel environment, targets are nothing but storage devices. So that's what we'll put here. Uh, other term you might have heard is called HPA. So as you can see here, uh, this box would be referred to as an HPA. HPA is similar to a NIC uh, in, in Ethernet or LAN environment. We have a network adapt network controller. So HPA is a host bus adapter, um, which uh, which actually takes, which actually communicates to the uh, sw switch. Some of the uh, again, some of the common terms uh, that. Uh, you might have heard called N port or F port or E port. What are those? F port is referred to a port which is connected, which is on the fiber channel switch. So this will be an F port. N port is a port which are on the devices. Uh, N port which are on the devices here. So as you can see here, we have two N ports. Uh, same thing on the on the target or on the storage side of things, which are called N ports. Uh, there is also an E port. We'll talk about E port a little bit later when we when we have multiple uh, switch when we hook up. Uh, so these are some of the basic terms. So you might wonder who came up with all this stuff. Uh, so another ter common term which you might have heard is called T11. T11 is a fiber channel standard body similar to an IEEE or an IETF, uh, which has defined the fiber channel network, uh, fiber channel uh, standard, uh, or a fiber channel technology. It has defined all those terms, goes all the way back from, I would say, 1999 or so, many years ago. Uh, but these are some of the common terms that you would have heard. Another common term that you might have heard is called WWN. What is WWN? WWN is similar to a MAC address in an Ethernet world, where it's a unique in the world. So as you can see here, each identity gets a WWN. Uh, so here, this HBA here will get a WWN. This HBA here will get a WWN. Um, and this sw switch itself will also get a WWN. So WWN is a... 8 bit, 8 bytes, sorry, long, and and there are two component components in WWN. There's a port WWN, or you might have heard a co term called WWNP, or a node WWN, which is WWNN. The, the difference between a node and a port WWN, as you can see, there is a HPA. HPA gets a WWN of a node WWN, but if you have a another another um, you know another uh, port here, then that port will also get a, a a WWN, which is called port WWN. It just sort of helps to identify. Uh, all the components in the sand fabric. And you will see where, where this WWN is actually used when we talk about some of the zoning and some of the fabric configuration. Uh, now, the main component here is FC addresses. So as Ethernet, 
we have a MAC address, IP in the LAN, we have an IP address. So um, Fiber Channel also has an address similar to an IP address, as I mentioned before, where uh, Fiber Channel addresses are 24 bits. Fiber Channel addresses are hierarchical. What I mean by hierarchical is typically every field has some meaning. So this, this first byte would be typically referred to as a domain. The next byte is typically referred to as an area. And the last byte will be referred to as a port. So as you can see, this is a 8-bit, 8-bit, and 8-bit. This is typical. You might have, there, might, there are some deployment where people vary with the uh, bits of this area part. It could be 10 bits or 12 bits, but for this discussion, we'll keep it at a uh, typical 8-bit scenario. This, as you will see later on, this will help you uh, in routing frames or switching frames in a fiber channel network because they are hierarchical. It has a meaning. So uh, thank you for watching the uh, technology series. Hopefully you got a good overview of uh, fiber channel and FCOE. Uh, and stay tuned for more uh, technology presentation from, from us.